Are you going to finish that croissant? Knock yourself out. Are you going to finish that croissant? A very simple phrase asking a very simple question. Or is it? Why does Carl even want a croissant? Why is this character eating a croissant? Does he even like croissants? Surely he must since they were bought for him, but also maybe not. Perhaps this was the reason why he was so willing to give the croissant to Carl. As a matter of fact, what is a croissant anyway? Can Carl even eat a croissant? Today, I'm going to explain why this seven word phrase actually has some very important meaning behind it. Let's begin with the character asking this question. Carl Weezer. Carl is a kid living in Retroville, who tends to get into shenanigans with Jimmy Neutron as well as Sheen Estevez. Something we learn in one of the episodes, however, is about his family's relatively strict diet as they have many health issues. So how could Carl be allowed to eat a croissant without a second thought? Is this one of the handful of things he's allowed to eat? Or perhaps it's all a farce to begin with? What if he doesn't actually have a stringent diet, and just goes along with it for the sake of his parents? But certainly that couldn't be right. He's way too dedicated to the role. Therefore, I propose another idea. One of his closest friends is a boy genius. Would it not be possible that Jimmy has used some form of gene editing to alter Carl's DNA in a way that would alleviate some or all of his food allergies or intolerances? This has, in fact, been done before. You can find videos online of genetic engineers curing their lactose intolerance, for example. And in case you've forgotten, this is the same person who managed to allow people to breathe in space, likely through more genetic engineering. In fact, it's Carl who prevents us viewers from being able to hear what Jimmy is saying to Sheen when he explains how this works. Perhaps this was a coincidence. Or perhaps Carl knew people were watching, and is thus in on Jimmy's plan to ensure that this tightly guarded secret doesn't get out. But then, how would Jimmy and Carl know if they were being watched? Could they perhaps be aware that they're in a simulation? And if so, does that mean that we are in a simulation, but simply aren't aware of it yet? If we were in a simulation, how would we figure that out? How could we figure that out? This has been a topic of intense debate for years now, with some scientists claiming that we are in a simulation, with others claiming we are not. Perhaps there will be some rather obvious clues, but until then, we may never know. But let's say we are in a simulation. Who is in charge of said simulation? God? Some other entity? Are we an Aliens video game or TV show until eventually the alien gets bored and decides to turn the program off? It is certainly a possibility, although that poses another question. Aliens. Do they exist? Some say so. There is a sort of irony, however, in that the more UFO information is given out, the less believable it appears to be. And does it really matter? If we saw aliens right now, would very many people care? In 2023, the US government revealed supposed evidence of the existence of aliens. In response to this revelation, Mr. Duke Nukem had this to say. Now quoting, Why don't I feel anything? Maybe they just aren't a sufficient enough distraction from the crushing weight of an unsustainable economy. How the hell can I care? Are they gonna help me pay rent? I've gotta tell ya, I believed aliens are real my whole life. Until the government said it. Now, I'm not so sure. This speaks to how people are trusting their governments less and less, and how it wouldn't be at all surprising if no one really cared. The aliens won't help put food on the table. The aliens won't make the bills go away. What will the aliens give us? Croissants? No they won't, as those don't come from space. They come from France. A croissant is a buttery, flaky, viennoiserie pastry inspired by the shape of the Austrian Kipferi, but using the French yeast leavened laminated dough. Wait a minute. Austria. You know who else was Austrian? That's right. Steve Irwin. What does this have to do with the croissants though? To. Like in the original phrase, are you going to finish that croissant? Finish. As in the end of something. Completion. Why was the croissant unfinished? Why was the croissant bought? Where was the croissant bought from? Was it France? Austria? Australia? Space? Doesn't matter? Because I have the secret answer to all of these questions. For you see, 
It wasn't made like a normal pastry, but spawned a simulation. And what else has a simulation spawned? Other shows, much like Spongebob, which would eventually be turned into the hit meme, Mr. Krabs Eats Arby's and Dies, where Mr. Krabs eats Arby's and then dies, which in and of itself is an entire discussion on the nature of society that we simply don't have enough time for. Society. We must tell society about this. You may ask where this is all going, to which I must respond that we should instead be asking if you're going to finish that croissant. Will we ever know the answer to this? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. Maybe this is one of life's greatest mysteries. Much like aliens breathing in space and the existence of Australia, we may never know. What we do know is that we don't know, and that in and of itself is more than we need to know about knowing. What? Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for my 5 hour dissection of the Donut Boy theme song.